This is Dr. Andrew Jones. In this edition of Veterinary Secrets, I'm going to show you about a veterinary hack for a common dog and cat emergency. Hi you guys, welcome again to my channel. This is Dr. Jones. I'm once again out in my backyard. If you're kind of quiet, you can sort of hear a variety of noises. There has been some hummingbirds zooming by. Um, they're pre pretty excited now that I've just changed their food. Alright, uh, so what is this specific veterinary hack I'm discussing? One in particular, one of the most common reasons you as a dog or cat owner need to perform some type of first aid on your pet is for a cut or a laceration. I gave Lewis a stuffy to make him feel better. He hates being in camera. Good boy, Lewis. So example would be your dog or your cat has lacerated the pad. You know, it's squirting out blood. It's not stopping. The first obvious thing is you just have a quick look at it. Good boy, Lewis. See if there's anything in there. Secondly, you need to put something on there to first cover it to stop the flow of the bleeding and apply some pressure. Let's use Lewis's stuff in his example. So you're putting pressure, moderate pressure on that wound, on that laceration, starting to cut, slow down the bleeding. If you have bandage material, you can potentially look at bandaging that up. But in particular, these pad wounds, they bleed a lot, and they can be really difficult to stop the bleeding. So one of the big things that I would use in veterinary practice, and you guys probably have on hand, is a type of glue. So here it is here, good old crazy glue. I remember it when I was a kid. That's a long time ago. <laughs> so it's you know, a synthetic glue, but it's one really impressive property. Is one, it bonds immediately, quite quickly. Two, there isn't a whole lot of tissue reaction from it. So it's something, especially when I first started in veterinary practice, we used it a lot. A whole variety of different wounds. Sometimes they were small, or sometimes we needed to stop the bleeding immediately. We didn't have either time to give anesthesia. We would use crazy glue or drop it on the edges, the skin edges, and hold them together. So, as an example here with Lewis, um, hopefully you can see it. It's just a matter of opening up that wound. You know, if we're looking at you know, this this pad laceration, that's not the bleeding's not stopping. Just have it on hand. Have it in your house, part of your first aid kit. Um, you're going to clean it up first, so you're not cl potentially closing in any debris. Use something like chlorhexidine, it's hibitane, I've discussed it in the past. It's a great uh, surgical scrub, things that we use in surgery, uh, prior to doing surgery. And it's going to get rid of most of the surface bacteria, some of that debris. But two or three drops on. You know, I don't want to put it on, Lewis, because as you know, the glue works really well. I like these little applicator pens, you can really control the amount you're putting on. Drop it on the edge of the skin then carefully using your hand and not touching uh, the glue itself, just s slowly squeezing that pad together. Within a matter of seconds, it's gonna, it's gonna start to bond. And if you can wait a full 30 seconds, you have a great wound closure right there that often immediately stops the bleeding. So thanks you guys for watching this edition of Veterinary Secrets. First, if you've yet to do so, first I encourage you to get some crazy glue. Second, if you've yet to do so, I want you to go ahead and click that link in the box above. You can subscribe to my channel. And after that, you can go ahead and click that link in the box below. I continue my free books and videos on how to heal your pets at home with my top natural remedies.